Leonardo da Vinci, one of the most famous household names in painting in the world. But many people forget his long list of pioneering and future-defining inventions. Born in 1452 in Florence, Italy, da Vinci not only left a lasting legacy in art with his infamous Mona Lisa, but he also paved the way for science and invention as we know it today. Da Vinci lived in a golden age of creativity and has become a shining symbol of the Renaissance age. I'm Seb and here are 10 genius and pioneering inventions by the man himself, Leonardo da Vinci. Number 10. The formal invention of the parachute is often credited to one Sebastien Le Normand in 1783, but in actual fact, da Vinci came up with the design hundreds of years earlier. Da Vinci sketched an image of his design with a triangular parachute rather than the rounded ones we are accustomed to seeing today. Because of this difference in design, many doubted da Vinci's parachute would even work, as it was never actually built or tested by the man himself. However, in 2000, a daredevil by the name of Adrian Nichols decided to construct da Vinci's design and test it. Not only did Nichols survive the test, but he also claimed the triangular design had a smoother ride than modern parachutes. Number 9 Da Vinci clearly had a keen interest in bringing the power of flight to humans, which is portrayed in one of his most famous designs, the Ornithopter. This flying machine was designed to have one pilot lying face down on a board in the centre while flapping the wings themselves. They would do this through the use of pedals, a hand crank and a rod and pulley system, using a headpiece to steer. Unfortunately, while the machine may have worked once in the air, one person would never be able to generate the power needed to actually take off. Number 8 Da Vinci spotted one fatal flaw with the guns of his time. They took far too long to reload. Being the inventor he was, Da Vinci set out to devise a contemporary version to find a solution. He eventually settled on his 33 barreled organ, a design that was simple but brilliant. The idea was that one row would fire 11 shots, while the second row cooled down and the third row was reloaded. The rows could then be rotated continuously to allow soldiers to fire at enemies without any interruption to their shots. Number 7 not only did da Vinci design pioneering inventions in parachutes, planes and machine guns, but he also created what many consider to be the world's first ever robot. It may not be exactly what springs to mind when you think of the word robot, but da Vinci's self-propelled cart was able to move along without any outside assistance. It worked using a series of coiled springs and could even be steered and pre-programmed with instructions on whether to go straight or at a determined angle. While it was designed for theatrical use in da Vinci's time, it acts as the first glimpse of motorised vehicles in human design history. So much so that in 2006, a model was built by Italy's Institute and Museum of the History of Science using da Vinci's designs. Surprise surprise, yet another of da Vinci's designs actually works. Number 6 First the machine gun, next another pioneering design that can be linked to modern warfare today, the tank. Da Vinci's armoured car was covered by a protective shell of metal plates, slanted to send enemy shots away from the vehicle. 
A sighting turret could be used for steering, and the tank itself was powered by eight men within its walls, constantly turning cranks to spin the wheels. However, there was a major flaw in the design, as the cranks involved went in opposite directions, meaning the vehicle would never actually move. Many have suggested that Da Vinci included this flaw on purpose, either to keep the working design out of enemy hands, or simply because he was a pacifist and never wanted the design to be used at all. Number 5 Back to the aviation world and yes, Leonardo is back at it again, as he's believed to have designed the first ever helicopter. Given that the first helicopter wasn't actually built until the 1940s, Da Vinci has really outdone himself here by designing one in the 15th century. He insisted that if the design used a linen screw that spun, powered by four men turning cranks, his aerial screw would rise off the ground. He again did not test out his idea, a common theme of his work and maybe it was for the best, as scientists think that weight constrictions could have made it difficult to fly. A shame, but most certainly a man ahead of his time. Number 4 Despite being a pacifist, Da Vinci really did develop himself as the master of designing tools for warfare. One of his most famous inventions was the revolving bridge that he designed for Duke Forza. The bridge used a rope and pulley system to ensure it could be deployed with ease and speed, with a counterweight tank for balancing. The bridge could swing across an obstacle like a stream, allowing soldiers to pass across quickly. Da Vinci believed that mobility was the most important aspect of warfare, hence why he designed so many bridges like this in his time. Number 3 by using designs that can be spotted in numerous other inventions by the Italian, the robotic knight featured a rope and pulley system that enabled the suit of armour to move without any sort of human intervention. Designed for a pageant in Milan, the knight could go as far as sitting down, standing up, as well as moving its head and lifting its visor. Unfortunately, a full design for the robot was never recovered, although fragments dotted around da Vinci's notes were. It was not until 2002 that Marc Rochim developed upon the designs to build a modern day prototype. Number 2 Some could argue that the sky was the limit for Da Vinci, but the man himself decided to go one step further. The inventor came up with a suit that could be used underwater, but the design was not as innocent as it seems on paper. Da Vinci conjured up the invention to help underwater sneak attacks against enemy ships. Thanks to tubes inside a bag-like mask, the diver was able to breathe in air coming from a cork diving bell on the surface. Da Vinci even thought of including a balloon to help the divers sink or resurface. Number 1 Not just a design, but the ideal city was a mass structural change proposed by da Vinci to the geographical city layouts of his time. After the plague had killed off nearly a third of Milan, the painter combined his architectural inventions and his innovation to create a city plan with improved communications, sanitations and a greater sewage system to avoid future issues of disease. The whole design hinged on a tier system, with the connected canals, tradesmen and travellers below and the upper roads being reserved for gentlemen. The plan even went into as much detail to include special stables for horses and air vents for buildings. However, due to the nature and scale of this proposed change, the idea was never developed. Leonardo da Vinci passed away in 1519 at the age of 67, but it's safe to say that his pioneering ideas still live on to this day. Unfortunately, many of his genius designs were never actually created, 
and a vast number were not even seen by many until his 12 volume set of notes and drawings, the Codis Atlanticus, was published after his death. Nevertheless, da Vinci simply must go down as one of the greatest inventors of all time. This episode of Mind's Eye Design is brought to you by Zetylus Stinger, an emergency escape tool that can save your life with a sharp razor to cut your seatbelt, a two-stage spring-loaded window punch, and can even be used a phone charger in your car. For more information on this product, the link is in the description below. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.